you're new to the rapping, you want to be a rapper, this is for beginners, okay? This is not an advanced course, this is just basically just if you want to become a rapper, this is the video for you. This is for beginners, okay? This is not an advanced course, this is just basically just if you want to become a rapper, you've never rapped before, maybe you've just done a little rap with your friends, but you've not taken that first step, you've not got any tunes out there, you're not established. Step number one, first thing, okay, before anything else, you need to be able to rhyme. I know maybe not every rap song you've heard or not every every song you've heard rhymes. It's not what they've not all got rhymes in them. The fundamentals, the basics, step one, I'm telling you, Shek says this, you need to be able to rhyme. If you can't rhyme, then you got no chance, mate. I'm telling you that now. If you're new to it, you need to mm, go on to rhymezone.com rhymer.com there's nothing wrong with using those sites go on to those sites buy yourself a dictionary buy yourself a thesaurus just get your rhyming skills up uh, however you have to do that just do that okay so as i said step one learn to rhyme step two another one this one's a bit harder to do off the off but if you can crack this then you'll be a better rapper from the start step two learn rhyming structures and rhyming schemes this is one of the ones that a lot of people get wrong so I would just basically spend as much time as you can doing this first, okay? What you need to do is you need to look at the way that your rhyme schemes are going to work, especially if you, before you start writing any bars or any songs or anything like that, you need to understand how rhyming patterns and like rhyming structures, how they work within songs. So sometimes like you might see that songs will rhyme all the way down they'll especially in grime like a lot of the time they'll i don't know pair bear stairs all the way down that's the pattern that it's going down sometimes they might only have two rhymes like some hip-hop songs for example will have like i don't know um push kush then it might go on to something else like flat trap i don't know you've got half rhymes like what you can see what i'm doing there as well sometimes it doesn't have to all the way rhyme it's the way you say it that makes it rhyme that way so that's another thing you need to look into. So those things are very important. So just to recap that, step two, learn rhyming structures and rhyming schemes. You must do this. If you don't do this, you're gonna be a very, very boring rapper from the get-go and nobody wants that. Okay, step three, again, very important. Make sure you understand syllables. You must understand syllables. Rappers, do not get this wrong. Syllables, make sure you understand them three syllables in syllable okay you must understand that it's just like when you hear a word like apple apple's got two syllables in it um fundamental fundamental's got four syllables in it not just the rhyme is important because you might need to match the syllables for the flow of your song sometimes if you've got like just two syllable words all the way down it's boring if you can get three syllable words or four syllable words sometimes that can enhance and show that you're a better rapper. It shows you think outside the box. It, it, you're not just looking for one word or one syllable, should I say, sorry. There's a lot of artists that do this nowadays and it's it, just boring, it's, it's monotonous. Three syllable word again, monoton, well, four syllables, sorry, caught myself out there, monotonous, four syllables. But anyway, you get the point. As I said, very important, learn your syllables. Okay, stay with me, stay with me. There's not much more left. All of the tips we've given so far are very important, okay? She's just gonna go out and leave her to it. As I say, we're on to step five now. Step five, flow, okay? So now flow is one of the most important things. It probably should have been higher on my list, really. Those are the things I wanted to cover those things because they're things that people miss a lot of the time. Most people know that you need to sort your flow out. Now flow, um, if you don't know what it is, is how you're flowing the words out over the, over the beat. The flow is important in terms of the audience you're trying to attract. If you want to attract a certain audience, your flow might be a certain way. Or if you're over a certain genre, should we say, then your flow is going to be a certain way. Or sometimes you might have a different flow for that genre, which is what makes you popular, I don't know. Flow is important. If we use an example, like American trap music is very, like, 
triplets like duh, 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 duh. every flow is like duh, 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 duh. everyone likes that that but that's that's that their style so that's the flow that they're using like uk hip-hop let's look at like someone like um gigs for example like his flow is quite slow but it's his flow that makes him so again as i said step five very important flow make sure you've got that this one this is the reason why it's lower down on the list we're on step six by the way this usually happens quite naturally your rap voice or your your artist voice when an artist raps they don't necessarily talk in the way they rap sometimes you can be quite shocked when you hear your favorite artist speak and you think that, that their voice sounds like that like it's a bit crazy but to be honest it's what makes them popular if that makes sense not their not their talking voice their rapping or their singing voice and obviously they have got their own that they've um, perfected over time again like we touched on before someone like gigs his voice is quite well known like in the uk for like the deep tones and how he, how he spits his rap so it's like flow and the rap voice is kind of they're both mingled together but i've kept it separate for this video just so that we can show the, obviously the importance of that and then show the importance of this as well so again this one very important you've got to find your rap voice the only way you're going to know really is you've got to, you've got to practice it's the only way you're going to know um more practice you do the better you're going to get at doing this show your raps to some people try and get honest opinions it's quite hard at the beginning as well because if you're only asking friends they're sometimes not the most honest but i suppose if they're not going to be honest then they shouldn't really be friends really finding your rap voice is important you've got to do this so you've got to pilot it with someone you've got to test it obviously you're the best judge you can work out if you think it sounds good or not but obviously test it on other people as well see what they think maybe they may tell you your voice is too squeaky or they might tell you that your voice is too deep it's just stuff to consider and then you know where to go from finding your rap voice comes along with the flow but as i say it's important make sure you've got one make sure you've got a rap voice don't just be one of these any old rappers that are just boring and you just forget who they are because they've not got no passion in their voice is probably the best way to say it we're up to step seven now so we've not got long left to go don't worry as i said the video is not going to be too long if you're still here that's great okay remember to leave a subscribe and like the video if you're feeling the content if you want me to give any other tips as well you can always leave a comment and i'll try and answer as many questions as i can step seven this one's important it's song structure okay we did cover some of this on one of the earlier topics okay but this one as i say i've kept it separate because again it's something that i feel that people i wouldn't say they skip it but they don't really take it as seriously as they should you've got to think about how the human brain works like it's designed to remember things and subliminal messages and the way that we remember things is quite strange we're all shall we say tuned to like and be susceptible to certain things we're designed as human beings to like a certain thing that's why pop music is popular music it's just it's just the way things are not everybody has to like it i'm not saying that i'm just saying that that's the way it works so song structure kind of works in the same way most songs would start with like some sort of intro then they go into like the verse one and there might be some sort of pre-chorus before the chorus comes in and then after that it's usually going to verse two and then and so on you understand what i'm saying there so for the beginners out there who might not understand what i'm saying it's how many bars are you going to put before you get to the hook or the chorus of your song and then what's going to come in before that hook actually comes in and you're going to have like a four bar or eight bar of like of like a pre-chorus is what they call it and then after that are you going to go to your straight to your verse two or you're going to have something else after like a bit of a bridge or you've got to understand how song structure works before you start laying down your own song because if you if you just try and just go at this just randomly then it's not going to work um you need to have a song structure everybody has to do it everybody has to learn it it takes some people longer than others and that's why they end up just being those kind of people i'm sure you all know them where they just have got loads of bars they haven't got any choruses they haven't got any structure to what they're spitting to you it's just bars and it's good maybe when you're just standing on road with the man them and you're just listening to a couple bars and your vibes in or a little cypher ting but what about tune what about song what about performance what are they going to perform just are they going to just literally just do that same um can we even call it a freestyle really um you see what i mean it's just basically you've got to know song structure otherwise you'll be stuck in the same you're stuck in the same pattern every time so you'll, you'll be stuck just doing ciphers like i say or just a quick 64 bar thing and that's it you don't want to just be one of those rappers you want to be one of the people that can be played on the radio for example so song structure if that's what you want then step seven as i said very important learn song structure coming up towards the end now another very important one don't be fooled by it being towards the end of the list and i hope you're still with me okay and as i said just subscribe if you are feeling the content 
put a dislike if you're not liking it and at least I know, then at least I know what to make videos about in the future. Step eight, chorus. Everybody knows what a chorus is or a hook. Um, doesn't matter if you're a singer or a rapper, it's very important. It's probably the most important part of the song. Um, it's the part that everyone sings. It's the part they all dance to. It's the part that your grandma knows even though she doesn't like grime music. It's the part that your mum li mum likes and probably bops her head to in the car even though she doesn't listen to rock music or hip hop or whatever genre we're talking about. This one, as I say, we're kind of keeping it more for the rappers. It's all the same. You need a chorus. It doesn't matter how simple it is or how complicated it is, okay? It doesn't matter what you're saying in that chorus. It's just got to be catchy. It's got to draw them in. It's got to gain attention. It's got to be the best part of the song, hands down. It can't be lacking because if it is, no one's listening. That's usually how it goes. Okay, just put the radio on and it don't matter what song comes on, I can guarantee you, you, you even know some of the words of the chorus of the song or you've heard it or it's vaguely in your memory from somewhere or it's remade from something. Don't need to go on to it too much in too much detail um, because everybody should know what it is. Chorus. If you don't, then just Google it. It's the most important part of the song, as I said. If you're trying to become a rapper or a singer, then I'm sure you're already aware of what a chorus is. And I think, to be fair, there's no way for me to help you get better at this really other than telling you just practice 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 the more choruses you write the better you will get listen to some pop songs listen to some of your favorite artists um, just listen to the structure sometimes i think nowadays it's very basic that's how choruses are now sometimes you'll get choruses to just repeat itself over and over and over again they could repeat like the same line about three four times and it seems to work so experiment try doing simple choruses try doing things that are a bit more complex the only thing i can say that just so it doesn't waste too much of your time when you are doing this and experimenting experiment with writing bars at the same time as writing hooks so try and write a hook and then try and write bars to go with that hook or vice versa. Sometimes you'll find that speeds up your process so you don't spend too much time just doing choruses and just having a book full of choruses with no bars or vice versa. So again, it's very important. Make sure you learn how to write a chorus. We're at number nine. This one probably should have been number one really, but again, um, it's a bit self-explanatory. Just in case I didn't catch everyone and they didn't stay to the end of the video, that's why I've put it here because it is pretty self-explanatory. It's practice. Practice makes perfect. I've said practice in a few of these now, so I don't know if I need to go into too, too much detail. If you want to be the best, you've got to practice. You get the idea. You've got to practice. If you if you want this, then you'll practice. Um, that's probably what weans out the real people from the ones that are just saying they want to do it. Practice. It's took me a long time to get to where I am, and I'm still not even where I want to be. So I could probably vouch for those people that are doing that and practicing and they can actually admit and say practice makes perfect there's always room for improvement always i ain't selling millions of records or anything like that rappers singers producers practice just practice when you do that then you'll get better there's no other way to put it okay we're at the last step this one's a bit more light-hearted but it still needs to be mentioned it still needs to be done uh, you can start off right now if you want to and I can help you with this okay step 10 networking has to be done can't be avoided really if you try to and you try and do everything yourself you're gonna fall don't know how long it's gonna take you before you fall but I can guarantee you will fall you cannot do everything yourself the Greeks will tell you that they've always got a team or a street team or someone behind them they've always got other people they collaborate with or they've always got somebody who they're planning on collaborating with or they've worked with in the studio, etc. You must network. If you don't do this, then you just set yourself up to fail, really. Let's just say you've got your new song out, you've got your new album, um, you've printed all these CDs or however you're planning on doing this, you might have just distributed it, you put it on Spotify, you've got it out there, but then you've not told anyone that you've rap or you've not even mentioned it to any of the people who are in that line of work like DJs or anyone like that for them to know to tell people that your song's out there how many streams or how many sales you're expecting to really get because if you don't tell people they're not going to magically know that you do this thing that you, you're on there what your MC name is or whatever you want to call it they're not going to know so you need to network in order for people to be able to you need to network because if you don't then you've got no one to push your stuff to people ain't just going to randomly just 
just go onto your stuff as well. Like if you got somebody in the street and go, hey, check this out, they might check it out. But maybe if they know a little bit about what you're doing and how you're doing it, then they may be more inclined to check it out and then check it out again and again and again. And then maybe even tell other people about it. So it's essential, you've got to network. Uh, one thing you could do to network straight away, and I've said it a few times in this video, you could just subscribe to me straight away. I might even subscribe back to you, depending on what you do, or um, if you're a rapper or if you're some sort of producer, um, I'm sure his sound will subscribe to you. Um, I've got my own Facebook page where you can network with myself if you wanted to do some sort of collaborations. Um, there's a lot of stuff you could do. You could even, there's loads of people on YouTube doing the same thing as what I'm doing here. The world's a big place. There's a lot of people you can speak to. There's people I've spoken to um, that have kind of led me onto doing this. So like I say, networking is important. I probably wouldn't even have done that if I didn't network. So make sure you do this, make sure you network. If you don't network, you're not gonna get anywhere. That's the best way I can put it. So final step, networking. Even though it's the last step, I wouldn't say it's less important than the other stuff. This list wasn't really in an order of importance, should we say, but everything that we've mentioned is very important. So do not leave this one out as it is vital. Case. Focus so why this weather should send us to space. We be on it right now. See me on it right now.